Good morning and happy Vlogmas Day 7. What are you doing? Coloring. You're coloring. Coloring the ghost. Wow. Ghost. Ghost. You're coloring a ghost? We're just going to hang out today. My mom is actually um, visiting us, so she stayed with us last night, and she's probably going to be here for most of the day, I think. I'm not sure when she's going to go home. But we need to pick something up at the mall, so that'll probably be our morning errand. Okay, I am just going to get ready because I'm going to the mall with my mom and we're bringing Chloe. Uh, my mom's not so much of a driver these days. Like her eyes are kind of bad. <laughs> I mean, like she has a, it's not just like her vision, like her vision's fine and it can be corrected. My mom has this weird issue with her eyes where um, it's not even that she can't focus on something, but when she's looking at something like an object, it's duplicated and it's also not level it's kind of skewed a bit so anyway when i can i usually drive her and she wants to go to uniqlo because she wants to check out a coat so i said let's just do it this morning so that's what we're up to i basically just swapped out one lululemon long sleeve shirt for another so this is i think this is pretty recent i got it maybe a couple weeks ago it's just like a really pretty berry color i like it i wanted to get the emerald green one but it sold out before i could order it um and then i'm just wearing uh these uh, jeans from Mango. I got these, I think in Portugal, either Portugal or Barcelona, I can't remember which one. I love these jeans and they're the perfect uh, length for me. And yeah, if I could get them again, I definitely would. I currently have three pairs. So I have this one, which is black. I have a dark denim and then I have a light denim and they're my favorite jeans. Okay, I'm leaving my vlog camera here because the bag that I'm carrying uh, isn't very big, so I don't really have room for you to come along. But if anything exciting happens, I will shoot it on my phone. Come on, let's go find Lola. Okay, Mama has to go to the bay quickly. Do you want to come with me? Okay, successful trip to Lululemon. Um, I was looking for a specific bag and they had like a couple left, which was exciting because they sell out really fast. Now I'm going to the bay to see the Chanel counter and see if I can get a different color of the Ultra. Also wear a liquid lip. Chloe, hold on, wait for Mama. We're home, we had lunch. Chloe had lunch too, and now the bow is just putting her down for her nap. She usually naps for about two hours, um, like 12 till two. And in the meantime, I am going to show you what I picked up at the mall. So it was a very successful trip. My mom got what she wanted at Uniqlo, which was this uh, ultra light down jacket. And I got the two things I went looking for. And then while Chloe naps, I think I might do a little bit of organizing and cleaning of my medicine cabinet. Okay, what I picked up at the mall. So I did get a question on a side note about what camera I'm using. It's the same camera that I used last Vlogmas. As you guys know, my uh, G7X broke last year, around this time actually. And I ended up going for the Sony ZV-1. So that is what I'm using. I'm currently using the product showcase mode, which is the one where if you like hold something close, it really quickly focuses on whatever you're holding up, even if my face is visible, which is great. The only thing is sometimes I forget to turn this feature off and then that is when you get the super shaky footage, which 
really sorry about that. I think that happened on the first Vlogmas video because uh, I yeah forgot to turn that off or I mean I hadn't used the camera in so long I didn't even <laughs> remember that that was something that uh, I had to enable or disable. You might be able to hear Chloe in the background. She was having a lot of fun especially when my mom's here. She has so much fun with her and she doesn't want to nap basically so we'll just wait for her to tire herself out. So yeah camera I'm using is the Sony ZV-1. I don't think they've come out with the ZV-2 yet, so this is the only version available right now. So first thing I picked up is from the bay, and I asked for no bag, but um, she gave me a bag anyway, and then I was so kerfuffled because I was trying to use my new Hudson's Bay uh, card, but uh, I don't actually bring the physical card with me and then I had to add it to my Apple wallet and it was just like a really funny Funny experience the whole exchange was just really funny because it took 30 seconds to pick this up And then it took probably seven minutes to pay um, And I was the only person there So I went in and I asked if they had this because it has been sold out uh, pretty much everywhere I tried Holt Renfrew. I tried the bay.com. I tried Holt Renfrew.com and it was just sold out. Granted, I've never actually seen this in person, but it just feels like a color that I would like. And I love these liquid lipsticks. I'm sort of obsessed with them. So this is Intense Caramel. Caramel? Caramel? I say caramel. It is a neutral with a little bit of like a pinky hue to it. And this was the last one, which is super exciting. Um, lucky I got there early. So the other thing I picked up is from Lululemon. And oh, did you guys know that uh, if you're in Canada, that Lululemon is now the official sponsor for the Winter Olympics? Or I'm not sure if it's just Winter Olympics or Olympics period. Uh, it used to be the bay, but um, yeah, Lululemon, uh, I don't know, won the contract this year. So all of the gear that the athletes are going to be wearing are going to be provided by Lululemon. And it means that you can also pick that gear up in store or online. But what I picked up is this, which is the, I think it's called the Everywhere or Everyday Belt Bag. Oops. Um, and yeah, I love these belt bags. I think they're super easy and perfect for every day. Um, I usually wear them like across the body like this. And if it's like just enough stuff that I need. So I usually do like a wallet, a lip product, hand sanitizer. Um, I can fit like a little snack pack for Chloe in here, or my keys, and it's perfect. <laughs> This one is a special edition version because it's fleece, so it's um, a little bit more than their regular ones. So I do have a couple of these already because I just find them super easy and functional. My most used one is probably the black. So this is a, a nylon version and this one is I think $38 or $39. So this one, because it's like a special edition one, is a little bit more. I also have this colorway, which I really love too, that I use a lot over the summer. This one definitely feels like more of a fall, winter, like early spring one because it's fleece. Um, but yeah, I love like, like the gold um, buckle, which is actually metal. Um, the ones on the regular one are plastic, but this is metal. Like all the hardware is gold. And yeah, I don't know. I just saw this online and I loved it. Um, but they were sold out online. They probably sold out really, really quickly. And I checked my closest um, Lululemon store and they didn't have any in stock, but another store, which is about 30-ish minutes away, had some. And it was just funny because they, they said they had three left and I wasn't able to um, reserve it for in-store pickup. So I go and I'm looking for this and I could not find it. And then I asked uh, someone at the register and they're like, I don't think we have that anymore. Ironically, she was actually wearing this. And then I went to open the app because I was going to show her, no, it says you guys have three. I could not find it on their website anymore. And then I just kept kind of looking around and I ended up finding it and there were actually three left, but they were very hidden. Um, it just so happened that uh, I even looked over there because Chloe uh, was with me and she was like running around and she almost knocked down like a whole 
uh, not rack, but a whole like peg of clothes. And then this was like standing or sitting up right above that uh, display. So if you can find this, I mean, I highly recommend it. I think it's super cute, but just like these bow pegs in general, um, they're really functional. They fit surprisingly a lot of stuff. It does come in two different colorways though, a black and also a brown, like a chocolate brown. But personally, I prefer this cream color. Welcome to my medicine cabinet, which we are going to organize hopefully today. <laughs> um, it's it's pretty messy in there. I'll, I'll show, take you guys on a little bit of a tour just so you can kind of see what we have going on. Um, and yeah, so I'm hoping to be able to tidy this up a little bit more efficiently. I basically keep a lot of stuff in here and I've also started keeping makeup in here uh, just because you guys know I don't have a beauty room anymore, which is where I used to get ready. So I've been getting ready here. I don't keep all of my makeup here. I basically keep basically what I'm wearing that day or that week here. So it's just like a small little sample of makeup. So you saw the other day that I picked up some of these clear containers from HomeSense. Uh, I couldn't find the exact one that I picked up earlier in that day, but I did pick this one up, which is uh, very similar. I'm not going to use the lids, so I'll probably just try to stack them at the top of the shelf. I'm not going to use the lids, uh, so I'll probably stack those on the top shelf since I don't store anything up there anyway because I am not that tall. So yeah, let's get started. Probably most of this will be a little bit of a video montage, so enjoy the time lapse. finished organizing uh, the medicine cabinet behind me and I was able to um, get rid of some empties and also I put aside some products that um, have either expired or I just don't use anymore so I did make some space but not really a lot. Okay, so I did use all of the clear containers here without the lids. Um, I'm testing out the lids for some of the shelves. Uh, I don't really know the purpose of it yet, I mean, other than maybe just to keep the glass shelf a little bit cleaner. Um, and also I thought maybe for like smaller items like this, it prevents it from just slipping off really easily because there's a little bit of a lip there. Um, but here I tried it underneath some hair care products and they don't fit all of them, so this I might change up. I don't really see the purpose or benefit here. Um, so yeah, this is my nice tidy-ish <laughs> vanity and uh, medicine cabinet. So I was able to remove all of the makeup um, that I had here. This is just my box of, um, or my little thing of empties. So uh, that you'll see that in a future video. <laughs> Over here is kind of uh, miscellaneous things, so more of like oral hygiene stuff and then Chloe's like toothbrush and toothpaste because we do share a bathroom. Uh, hand soap, cleansers. Um, I brought this back because if I'm wearing earrings or a ring or something like that, I like to uh, put it here so that um, I'm not wearing it when I'm washing my face. My brushes I kept out here partially because um, they're too tall to sit here and I did not want to, in order to, so on a side note, in order to adjust these shelves, uh, it's a really easy process because all you have to do is move these uh, little holders into the designated slots. However, in order to do that, you actually have to remove the doors, which is a big endeavor. Uh, so anyway, that's why I just left it here. Looks great. Fits perfectly under there. Uh, this just came with, I think, the Dyson Airwrap. Um, so it's just like a little silicone thing um, for any hot tools. Here we have skincare, so we have moisturizers and toners um, and retinols and serums and all that kind of stuff. Above it we have my toothbrush holder, which I put my electric toothbrush in and my toothpaste. 
This is, um, I should do a better job actually washing these um, on a more regular basis. These are all dirty, uh, reusable um, bamboo cotton pads. And then we have the hair stuff up there. I'm not going to really go through. They're just kind of like miscellaneous things. On this side, we have makeup and then some of the Dyson hair tools here. The Dyson does come in a really fancy box but it's where am I? I don't know where I'm supposed to put that. So I actually use it to hold up a tripod um, in my little mini studio. So instead I use one of those clear containers to put the barrels and the brush in. Then we have, you know, bases and concealers and primers, then powders and, you know, the Glossier skin tint. Um, this is, I've kind of fallen back into love with, well, I never fell out of love with it. I just kind of stopped using it. So I started using this again, which is the Flawless Filter by um, Charlotte Tilbury. Here we have uh, mascaras and brow products and eyelash, eyelash curler and some tweezers. Then on the second shelf on this side, we have uh, some cheek products, so bronzer, blush, highlighter. I'm not really sure what to do with these yet. So I just shoved them here with some eyeshadows. I have the Future Dew from Glossier and some setting sprays. Here are some miscellaneous masks and also some hair stuff. And then again, kind of the upper shelves are a little bit random. Um, oh, I forgot to show you guys my ordinary haul, but I picked up these three things. So the Flava, Fla Flava Known, Flava Nun Mud, which is a mask, which is what I use a little spoon for from the Neod line. And then two products from The Ordinary. We have a retinol and then we have the uh, Marula oil over here. Over here, we have this mirror from Simple Human. I love to use this when I'm putting on makeup. I just like it's, I think it's a perfect size and it comes with like a little um, ring light, I guess. And then this tool from Dyson, which is the round brush, which I really wasn't using very much. I just started using this uh, maybe a couple weeks ago and it doesn't quite fit with the rest of them here. So it's just kind of this one off one I leave there. I still have to tackle these drawers, but I will do that another day. What are you reading? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, what's on the cover? Tell Mama. Who's on there? Do you know? That's the Hunchback of Notre Dame. Christmas in the Bell Tower. Okay, we are going to do the advent calendar now. I know it's been a little bit of a slow day, but I'm pretty proud of myself for organizing the bathroom. It's something I've been meaning to do, and you know how things just accumulate. But anyway, let's open the advent calendar so we can call it a night. Okay, so we're gonna open day seven. Ooh. Okay. There's some gooey stuff on here, probably just to keep it in place in its little slot. There's actually a pretty generous amount of stickers in here. They're all... Are these stickers? Yes, they are. <laughs> I was second-guessing myself there for a second. Um, but they are individually cut, so they're not on a sheet, which I have to be careful about because these are very easy to, to lose. And some of these are tiny. Like, look at this little star. It's super, super small. Some of these are also very dainty. I'm very nervous about <laughs> stickers like these. They just seem like they would rip very easily. What does this one say? Wanderlust. I love that. Oops. Okay, I'm gonna carefully put this back before I ruin them all or lose them. That's super cute. I love that. Okay, so that is it for today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and uh, I know it's been a bit of a slow day, but I hope you enjoyed a little peek into 
me organizing slash decluttering and uh, what I keep in my medicine cabinet. I know that uh, it's probably a little bit different than the last time you might have seen it, which is probably last Vlogmas, uh, but also probably a lot the same. So um, yeah, I don't know why, but I find it really fascinating looking into uh, people's medicine cabinets or just like, you know, the kind of skincare that they have and how they organize and things like that. Let me know if you're the same. Uh, but thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!